Agents, all right. So the common question that I get is, what carriers do I contract with? Do I need a contract with all of the carriers? Why can't I just pick a few? So these are some com common questions that I get. Do me a favor, guys. Before I answer the question, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now, as far as what carriers you need a contract with. So let's look at a map. Okay, we're looking at a map here of the U.S. here. And let's just say we're talking about Texas. I click on Texas and we have all these carriers available to us. Question is here, do I need to get them all? Why can't I just get a few carriers? Well, here is my recommendation. Get every single one of them. Okay, and here's the reason why. There's a couple of reasons. Reason number one is because from one year to the next, you don't know what a carrier is going to do. One year, this carrier carrier can capture market share. Uh, rates are competitive, but then the next year, they become completely un, uncompetitive with rates. And another carrier is becoming more competitive. And because ACA is such a rate-sensitive product, a lot of these insurers are going to leave. Now, if you don't have that carrier that's the least expensive, you're going to lose a ton of your clients. So you might as well have them just in case. So that's one of the reasons why I recommend that you get all the carriers. Now, remember, I did a previous video where I showed about, where I talked about certification. If you're in one of the blue states, if you're in one of these states that is blue, get back to the map here. You only need one certification. Guys, you do not need to get certified with each carrier. So it's kind of one of those reasons, you know, why wouldn't you have it? Might as well have them all so that you are prepared. The second reason why you want to have all the carriers available in that state is when you're dealing with an insured, you just can't always go with one or two carriers. Some insureds don't have any doctors, any meds, and then you can just pick the best rate plan that's available. But what if they have a set of doctors and they're taking some medications and they don't want to change doctors and they need to make sure that, that these medications are in the formulary. Well, now you're going to have to check. Once you run rates, you're going to have to check each carrier to see if those doctors are in the network and the medications are in the formulary. So if you don't hit a home run with your small selection of carriers, you're not going to be able to take care of that insured and they're going to go somewhere else. Or you're going to write them and not be very happy. They're not going to be very happy. So I would suggest, again, another reason is to get all those carriers in that, in that state that you're planning to. And the third reason, guys, is why not? It's not costing you anything to have them. It's a good idea to have them, again, because you have no idea from one insured to the next, which carrier is going to be best for them. So uh, that's what I would do, guys. If we look at some of these other states, you know, you'll see Florida, they've got a pretty healthy list of carriers. Uh, you, know, you know, guys, I would just recommend get them all. What, what do you have to worry about? Take care of your, your insureds, have as many carriers as possible, and you're going to win. They're going to have no reason to go to any other agent because you've got every carrier in that area hope that helps you out guys make sure you you like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you